Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and today I am back with my One Kit 10 cards. So I am featuring the September card kit by Simon Says Tab and there is also a giveaway on my blog, so make sure to visit and enter your details. So let's start with uh, a quick look on what's inside the kit. You get four different tags that uh, they have a window, two of them have a balloon and two others have a little heart. You also get um, those uh, plastic pouches that fit perfectly inside those tags so you can make shaker tags. Now you also get um, some stickers, these are puffy stickers and they are shiny. You also get a stamp set which is perfect for birthday cards. And also you get uh, six by six pattern papers in beautiful um, female uh, colors as you can see here. Perfect for creating your birthday cards for this month. And as always you get cardstock in uh, five different colors this time that perfectly match the colors of uh, the rest of the papers and uh, the stickers. Now let's start with the first card. So I'm going to create a tag and as you can see I'm uh, coloring the inside of the balloon and I'm using two different colors of Distress Oxide inks in uh, pale uh, inking and uh, I achieve pale inking when I use my Nouveau brushes so I really like uh, them for this look. Now I am going to add a little bit of uh, water, I'm spraying uh, just a little bit and uh, this is going to help uh, all the inking to blend even more. And now this is going to be a shaker tag, so I'm going to bring in that uh, little pouch, I'm going to peel off the backing, so now this is sticky, and uh, I'm going to add some, uh, you can see how it fits nicely inside, and now I'm going to make sure that I apply some uh, tape adhesive all around that uh, inside of my tag, just to make sure that they are going to say stick nicely, and then I'm going to apply some uh, sequence that I had on my stars from um, a previous uh, card kit I believe and then I'm going to close the tag. Now I'm going to embellish my tag a little bit so I have chosen this uh, pattern paper and I'm going to cut out some of those strips. Uh, it, I actually chose to use the one with the unicorns and um, underneath it says happy birthday. And I'm going to glue that at the very bottom of my shaker tag. I'm going to use my scissors to cut out the excess. And now this step is totally optional. I decided to embellish my the top of my tag a little bit more. So I'm using an eyelet and uh, I'm going to set it with my crop dial. But uh, either way, if you use it or not, it's not a big deal. It's still going to look beautiful. Now I have uh, brought in the pink uh, cardstock. I have already created a top folding card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And this is where I am planning to stick my tag. And of course you can leave the tag as it is and use it to go along with a gift for a birthday. But I just wanted to show you how you can turn this into a card. So all I'm going to do is to stamp directly on top of my card base the phrase happy birthday. And this is a stamp included in the stamp set. I am stamping it with Versa marking and I'm going to apply white embossing powder and heat set it. And to, to embellish my card a little bit more, I decided to give my balloon a string. So with my white glue, I'm going to draw a line. And uh, I didn't want uh, the line to be straight. And uh, now with a string, I'm going to follow that uh, glue line. I'm going to cut off the excess uh, string, but I'm going to leave a little bit of tail hanging out of the tag. Now I'm also going to tie a little bow. I'm going to make it as tiny as I can, chop off the edges and then I'm going to use my white glue again to stick it just underneath my balloon. And now my tag is ready. If you wish you can add some thread at uh, the top uh, of this tag, but I decided not to. I'm going to add some glue at the back and then stick it just underneath my sentiment. And this is the first card for today, a little tag with a shaker element that you can always use it just as a tag.
You don't have to turn it into a card. Now let's move on to the second uh, tag. And uh, this is the one with the tiny little heart. This time I'm going to add some color. But instead of using my nouveau brushes, I'm going with my blending tools. This way I am going to have a more um, intense color, as you can see. And I'm going to mix up three different colors of Distress Oxide inks. Now I'm happy with uh, how the tag looks at the moment and I'm going to apply some uh, droplets of water. These are going to react with the Distress Oxide ink. I'm going to leave them on top of my tag for a few seconds and then I'm going to blot them with a clean piece of cloth. I am planning to do some embossing on top of this tag, so I need to make sure that the ink and the water is totally dry, otherwise I'm going to create a mess. So I'm using my heat gun there. And now I'm going to use my misty to do some stamping. Again, I'm going to use Versamarking and then white embossed the sentiments. As you can see, I chose two of them from the stamp set. The one that says, to the very best friend ever. And at the bottom it says, happy birthday. After heat setting my sentiment, I am applying a little bit of the yellow wing on the inside of my tag. And again, I'm going to go all around uh, the window at the back, stick the little uh, heart pouch. I'm going to add my confetti there and these are actually tiny little iridescent uh, stars and hearts. I'm going to peel off the backing of the pouch and then close the tag together. And again you can use this shaker tag as it is to go along with a gift for a birthday or uh, you can turn it into a card and I'm going to show you how easy it is. I am just going to use the yellow ink again and this is actually fossilized amber. And with my nouveau brush I'm going to apply a little bit of ink at, uh, directly on top of my card base. I'm starting from the bottom and I'm going my way towards the center. And as I go towards the center I make sure that I have more ink at the bottom so I get that ombre look. And it really helps that I'm using the brush instead of um, the blending tool since I do get a more subtle look. I used some uh, string to thread it at the top and I'm going to add some uh, white glue at the back and stick it on top of my card base. Now this time I'm going to stick the tag on an angle, just for a different look than I did with the first card. And my card is ready. And now let's move on to the third card and this time I'm going to use this pattern paper that makes a card on its own. So I'm going to uh, cut out a square out of this image and uh, you don't have to use a die, you can use just your paper trimmer. And to help this image stand a little bit more I'm going to mat it on top of a scrap piece of uh, white paper. And I am going to trim it all around, making sure that I leave a very thin little white border. It should be about one eighth of an inch. And then I'm going to apply some tape adhesive at the back and stick it on top of a pink card base. Again, I used my cardstock to create this uh, top folding card. And just because I want this to be a square, I'm going to use my paper trimmer and cut off the bottom of the card. So I'm going to turn it into a square. And that matches perfectly the alignment of uh, the center image. Now I need to add the sentiment and for that I'm going to pick up uh, the pattern papers again. And there is a pattern paper that is full of a little uh, sentiment strips. I'm going to cut off one of them that says uh, you brighten my day. And I will stick that at the very bottom of my card. Now all that's left to do is to add some uh, sparkle on top of my card. Since this is a magical card and it's going to, I'm going to give it to a little girl. So I'm using my nouveau crystal, crystal drops. This is uh, actually only going to add uh, glitter and uh, it's going to dry transparent. I'm going to apply some glitter on uh, the rooftops as well as in different uh, areas of those uh, unicorns. And my little square card is ready. For the fourth card I'm going to use the little heart that was included in the stamp set and I'm stamping it uh, with Versamark ink many times on top of this uh, white cardstock. This is actually watercolor paper. I'm going to apply white embossing powder and you probably can't tell what I'm doing now. 
But here is how my watercolor paper looks after I have uh, white embossed all those hearts on top. Now I'm going to use my Nouveau brushes and a collection of Distress Oxide inks and I'm going for a very pale look so I will go ahead and color the hearts with one color each. Now as you can uh, tell I am working on a rainbow order and uh, the white embossing powder actually resists the ink so when I finish uh, inking up all my little hearts I'm going to use a clean cloth and go over it to make sure that um, I reveal all those white uh, lines and then I'm going to use my scissors to cut out all those hearts and the plan is to stick them on top of my card now after cutting out all those hearts I played around a little bit with their placement and once I was happy with how my card would look I went ahead and um, committed with glue and before starting assembling my card with all those hearts on top I am going to stamp the sentiment first that says sending lots of color your way and that comes from the same stamp set that was included in the kit and I will go ahead and stick everything down I'm working on a piece of white cardstock that's slightly smaller than a standard card and uh, I got this from my stash. I'm going to bring in all the hearts and some of the hearts I'm going to stick them with foam tape so that I can add some dimension while on others as you can see I am using my tape runner at the back. I'm using my scissors to cut out all those hearts that stick out and then I'm going to bring in my card base and I'm going to stick that on top of the card base and I'm using foam tape at the back. And now I'm going to bring in all those puffy stickers and I'm going to stick uh, some of those tiny little dots as well as some of the hearts here and there. And this completes my fourth card which is one of my favorites from today. Now the fifth card is super quick and simple, so I have just cut out four uh, white squares and uh, I am adding some foam tape at the back just to add a little bit of dimension. I'm going to stick them on top of my card base, creating a little square and you can uh, go ahead and uh, eyeball it like I am doing here or if you want to make sure that everything is going to be super straight and uh, perfectly aligned, you can use your rulers. But I think uh, it went uh, perfectly there. I am going to stick uh, the four stickers on each one of those squares. And the card is pretty much finished. All that's left to do is to add a sentiment. For that you can either go ahead and stamp a sentiment below or you can use one of the strips from uh, the pattern papers. And I went with one that says happy birthday and it's uh, very colorful. Now this is a great pattern paper because each and every one of those rectangles you can turn it into a card. So for this card I decided to go with the label that says never let anyone dull your sparkle. I'm going to cut all around it leaving a little border. And now I'm going to create a background for this uh, label. So I'm using double sided tape and I'm working directly on my card base. I'm going to stick my double sided tape on a diagonal and I'm doing a stripped pattern paper as you can see. You can of course use the grid on your mat to make sure that these are aligned correctly. I'm using my non-stick uh, scissors to cut off the excess. And then I'm going to apply three different colors of uh, glitter. Now if you hate glitter you can do the exact same uh, thing but instead of applying glitter you can apply foil paper. So I am going to peel off every third of uh, those strips and then I am going to apply the darker of uh, the colors that I have. This is actually a uh, Nouveau glitter. It comes in this uh, huge bottle so I have uh, colors for pretty much uh, the rest of my life and this is uh, the violet and I like to use a stiff brush as you can see just to make sure that I clean up everything. I'm going to uh, put back the glitter on the jar And I'm going to move on to the next color and this is lilac. Again after applying the glitter I'm going to go ahead and use the stiff brush all over it to make sure that I clean up any excess. I'm going to place the glitter back in the jar and move on to the next color. This is hot pink and it's the last color that I'm going to apply and imagine uh, if you do the exact same technique with rainbow colors on top of white cardstock I think it would make a stunning card. 
And again, you can do foiling if you want to avoid glitter or you can even use those flakes. Now I have added some foam squares at the back of my tuck and I'm going to stick it at the center of my card. For the next card, again, I'm using one of those pattern papers that are full of little squares that you can turn each one of them into a card. And I picked the one with the unicorn that has a, a little birthday cake. So I'm going to create a cute little birthday card. I have already cut out a square frame by using my nested uh, square dies. But if you don't have these dies, you can always use your paper trimmer to create a little white frame. I'm going to add some foam tape at the back. I'm not going for a shaker card here, I just want to have this frame a little bit raised. I am sticking the frame on top of my little square there, and this way I have created a little embellishment that is going to be a great focal point for a birthday card. I have cut out a strip of this pattern paper, I am adding some tape runner at the back of my elements. And notice how I am using the grid on my mat, just to make sure that everything is nice and straight. And once I'm happy with the placement, I'm going to stick that on top of my card base. And I'm working directly on a card base that's four and a quarter by five and a half, which I have created out of the cardstock that was in the kit. Now, all that's left to do is to add a sentiment. And I am going to use this scrap piece of white cardstock. And I'm going to stamp one of the sentiments included in the stamp set with black ink. I'm using my scissors to cut out a fish tail on one side of my sentiment and my sentiment by the way says happy birthday to the kindest most beautiful person i know and i'm going to stick that coming out from the little square and on top centered and on top of my strip and i embellished the end of my sentiment with a little heart Now for the next card I'm using one of my favorite uh, pattern papers from this kit and you will see that I'm going to use every bit of this uh, pattern paper. So I'm using one of my squares to cut out a little window. And just like I did with the previous card, I used the nested squares one inside the other to cut out a little frame for this window. Again, if you don't have these squares, you can always use your... Uh, I'm sticking this panel on top of my card base and I have used foam tape at the back so that I have that window a little bit raised. And on inside the window I'm going to use those uh, little stickers. The one is the rainbow and the other one is uh, the cute uh, little uh, cloud. Now both of those uh, stickers are quite puffy so they are bulky. So I decided to go with uh, a tiny bit of foam tape at the back of the cloud so that it stays nicely on top of the rainbow. And again, for this card, instead of using uh, a sentiment, a stamped sentiment, I decided to go with the pattern paper. So I've chosen this one that says, uh, you make me happy. And at the bottom it says, hello. And this is going to add the sentiment while embellish my card even more. And let's make one more birthday card for today. So again, I'm using this pattern paper with all those images and I'm going to cut out that little square that has four little squares inside. And they are all uh, birthday images. So I'm going to cut them all out. And after cutting everything out, I'm going to use this uh, scrap piece of uh, paper that I have from the previous card. I'm going to stick uh, just one strip on one side. I'm using my scissors to cut off the excess and then I'm going to stick all those four little images on top of that. Now I'm going to use foam squares at the back to add a little bit of dimension and I'm going to eyeball them in a row. Of course you can go ahead and use a ruler or the grid on your mat to make sure that everything is uh, perfectly aligned but I usually don't bother with things like that. After all it's a handmade card and it's not the end of the world if uh, something is a little bit off. And now finally it's time to add the sentiment. For that I'm going with happy birthday. I am stamping that at uh, the bottom of my card base. With Versa marking I am applying white embossing powder which I am going to heat set it. A very simple card but so beautiful. And now let's move on to the last card for today. For this I am going to use all the scraps that I have from the striped pattern paper. As you can see I have cut them out in strips of paper that are um, in different widths and uh, lengths. 
and I'm going to stick one next to the other. Again, I'm not uh, measuring anything, I just eyeball everything and I try to keep all the shapes quite organic, so the um, lengths of uh, those strips are uh, totally random. Now, these are going to be candles on top of my card, and uh, this is actually, is actually a great design to distash and use all those uh, scrap pattern papers that you have for creating beautiful pattern paper cards in just minutes. Now I'm using my white gel pen to draw the candle wick on top of each candle. And before I add my flames, I'm first going to stamp the sentiment. And for that, I went with uh, the one that says more candles, more fun. I am uh, stamping it with Versa marking, applying my white embossing powder. I'm going to use my heat gun to melt everything. And then it's time to add the flame on each one of those candles. And for that I'm using my Nuvo Crystal Drops. And this is actually bright gold. I am going over it to create a dot. And then you can uh, drag towards the top to create that um, drop look. Or if you want, you can use one of those uh, poke tools. And drag that uh, dot towards the top. And this creates the perfect flame and completes your card. So now let's take a quick look on all the 10 cards that I have created for today using the September card kit by Simon's Stamp. Don't forget that there is a giveaway and uh, the lucky winner will get this September card kit. So make sure to visit my blog and leave me a comment. You will find the link down below in the description area. And here are my leftovers, so of course I have uh, the stamp set, a couple of stickers, two little tags, I do have many pattern papers that I haven't touched at all, and of course a few scraps. And these were the cards for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired, don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know which one of the 10 cards was your favorite. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure to do so, because this is the way to tell me that you like my videos and you want to see more. Thank you all so much for watching and see you next time!